Hello everybody, my name is Mark, this is Why Hate the World, how are you guys doing? So this is a video about Pizzagate, which is uh, another right-wing conspiracy um, that's making a lot of uh, making a lot of noise in right-wing circles. I'm seeing a lot on Reddit and, you know, places like that. So if you don't know what uh, Pizzagate is all about, it's basically a rebranding of the 80s satanic panic um, and uh, child abuse scandals, you know, but this time it's sort of rebranded and the new targets instead of like, you know, devil worshippers or people that listen to heavy metal are um, high level uh, democratic, um, you know, DNC operatives along with Hillary Clinton. So I'm not going to try to go through every little bit and piece of this because we'd had this video would be an hour long because like a lot of conspiracy theories, there is just a lot and a lot of connections that get made without any real evidence. And I've seen everybody, I've seen people like connect just tons and tons and tons of unrelated shit to this, you know, uh, because here's, the, here's how conspiracy theories work. You take something that actually did happen and then you take something you think happened and then you say that they're related and you come up with a bullshit reason why, right? There's a lot of that going on in, in this Pizzagate thing, right? So, um, just to start off, the whole thing started when um, WikiLeaks uh, leaked uh, the emails from John Podesta and um, Anthony Weiner, right? And so what was going on was that our, you know, Reddit uh, people and people from uh, 4chan's uh, poll board and guys from uh, the Donald, are the Donald on Reddit, um, were going through all those emails trying to look for damning evidence to like you know use against Hillary Clinton right because there's something like you know 50,000 emails or some shit like that that got released right so they're going through all this and somehow <laughs> this theory this conspiracy theory arose where certain words that they are using when they were describing going out to lunch have to do with pedophilia now Supposedly, this is like some kind of like code thing, right? Which I haven't really been able to find anywhere else, you know. But they were basically saying because a lot of these, a lot of these emails have to do with them going out to lunch someplace, right? And there were a couple of weird ones where, like, one where um, a guy says that uh, Barack Obama spent sixty-five thousand dollars on hot dogs or something like that, and it's a joke. If you read the email, you see that it's plainly a joke. He's joking, <laughs> right? And instead, these guys have said, well, really, the word hot dog is, code, is a code word for little boy. And this is evidence that Barack Obama is spending money, uh, you know, child trafficking and shit like that. <clears throat> Which is complete and utter horseshit. So anyway, this sort of list of different code words have been developed by these people. Um, just kind of kind of go through them. Hot dog means boy. Pizza means girl. L uh, cheese <laughs> means little girl. Pasta means little boy. Ice cream means male prostitute. Walnut means person of color. Map means semen. And sauce means orgy. And so supposedly, <laughs> if you go through these these Podesta emails and things, you can find different instances where they're talking and they they use these words and they're saying that this is pedophilia, right? So on top of this, there's a place in Washington called Comet Pizza, where um, the guy who runs it is the is the ex lover, the ex gay lover of another guy who has connections in the DNC, right? So things that so they've kind of focused in on this pizza place, and they're going through their uh, going through all the um, you know communications from them and and the guy's Instagram and Facebook and things like that. And the dude who runs it has pictures of children, right? Because he's got he's running a family-friendly pizza place, right? And with ping pong tables and shit, right? And so they're going through all of these this dude's pictures and they're finding pictures of kids, right? And they're saying, see, he's raping kids. And it's like, you look at the pictures. There's no, you know, they're they're of smiling children who like, you know, we don't know who the children are, right? They could be like children of customers, right? They could be his kids, you know. Um, there's like one where a kid is, has duct tape, and he's like taped to the table, and it's like a joke saying, here's a good way to control your kid. And the kid is laughing and smiling, right? And they're like, it's completely taken out of context. So just because a guy 
happens to be gay and also have pictures of children on his Instagram at a restaurant that he runs doesn't mean that he's raping the children. See, that's the thing. That's that's the, that's one of those lo those leaps in logic that they make. You know, he's gay. He must be a pedophile. No. All right. Normal gay men are not pedophiles. They're not attracted to children. They're attracted to other men. Okay. So that's one of those, you know, that's where you, you see, you know, bigotry and, and racism and shit starts to seep into these things. Right. Um, so anyway, uh, apparently, um, John Podesta eats at this place a lot too. And so they start making other connections to this. Like apparently the guy, John, John Podesta has, um, weird artwork in his house um, by a person named, uh, Kim Noble, and there's, like, pictures of, like, very, very strange artwork, and some of them have photos of kids, you know, underage models, okay, or, you know, they're either photos or paintings of underage models, and they look weird. The thing is, none of them are nude, okay, and there's no nude kids, right? There's nothing illegal about them. They're just weird paintings and stuff, right? Well, Kim Noble is an actual real artist person, so these aren't like, you know, because the implication is that these are like strange pieces of artwork that he like took of like struggling kids, and one of them is like, you know, this, one of them kind of va is a sculpture that vaguely resembles uh, um, a victim of uh, some serial killer, I think it, it was, uh, you know, um, Edgar Gacy, or, you know, I can't remember, there was some serial killer that one of the victims kind of looks like the sculpture and he's and so the implication is that that John Podesta is a sicko pedophile when in real life it's like artwork you know people have strange shit in their houses I mean you can see all the crap I've got in my background I play with toys does that mean I'm a fucking pedophile you know it doesn't make any sense right and and, and so then you know there's just I mean the thing is the more you read about these kinds of things the more implications there are. So there's people that are saying that, well, this place, Comet Pizza, Comet Pizza has um, pedophile symbols, right? Like uh, there's a there's a symbol of that they have on their menu of two ping pong tables that look like this. And it's very similar to another pedophile symbol of like a butterfly that the FBI keeps. But when you look at it, they look nothing. They, it, this, the, the similarity is just like, you know, surface level, right? It's just like arbitrary. It's like, well, anything that looks, has this sort of butterfly shape looks like a butterfly. You know, does that mean that he's like a pedophile? Because then there's another guy that says that every building on that block, like this was a YouTube video I saw, every building on that block in their logo on the stores are pedophile symbols. And that apparently um, the guy that owns the place has been building tunnels underneath it, right? No proof of any of this shit, right? Nothing at all. And then, so people take it even, like, further, right? <laughs> right. I've seen everything. I mean, it's just, there's just so many different little weird, you know, connections that people make. I've seen people saying that there's cannibalism involved, you know? And that the owner of this pizza shop, he's got, like, and John Podesta also has, like, scars on his fingers. And, and there's one picture where he's, like doing this and he's got a fish in one hand and a 14 on the other and and scars on his fingers and that is some kind of satanic thing when in real life the instagram post that that picture is attached to pretty much explains it it's because because of, um conservation law got passed you know but um and and they're they're saying that you know they're they're using this thing called spirit cooking and they're like not only raping the kids but then eating them right and it's because it's a ritual that was created by Aleister Crowley and blah, 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 blah. And that's why Hillary was like, you know, sick during the, during the um, campaign because she has Kuru, right? Which is mad cow disease. You know, and it's bullshit. It's, com it's just all bullshit, right? They're not raping any kids, right? They're not kidnapping kids. They're not stealing kids from Haiti. They're not cooking them and eating them. And that's the, that's the problem with conspiracy theories. That's why they, ult they all ultimately fall apart. You know, do you ever wonder, right, for people out there, like, you know, who are into this shit? Because I used to be into this kind of thing, right? I'm very well versed on the conspiracy theory lore out there. All right, you know, I've, I've read a lot of books, you know, uh, everything from UFOs to, um, you know, Aleister Crowley to fucking, 
you know, the New World Order and all that. I've read a lot of books, uh, you know, I've, I've listened to fucking Coast to Coast AM, <laughs> okay? I know all about this shit, and I don't really believe any of it at all, you know? And it's like, the reason why is because people believe shit without any proof, you know? Like I was saying, if you ever wonder, if anyone out there who actually believes this shit, right? If you ever wonder why no one is ever held accountable, while no one ever goes to jail for these crimes that you think are being committed, it's because there's no proof. It's because they're not being committed. It's because it's shit that people are making up, you know. And most of the time, it's it's so that they can, so somebody like Alex Jones can sell books and DVDs. That's what, that's what it's all about. See, conspiracy theories are a business. Anyway, so... That's another, that's a video for, that's a subject for another video. So please, please people out there, you know, when you see this kind of shit, just, you know, think about it for half a second, right? Don't just instantly fucking believe it just because it looks logical or you want it to be true, <laughs> all right? Because this is the kind of thing, like, is, it's destroying our country. I mean, now we have a goddamn president-elect who believes shit like this, and it's, you know, it's not healthy, folks. Adios.